Feminazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. What's up, all like four of my fans? I'm sure you've wondered where I was. This is your best pal, Feminazi. So let me tell you about my drama. First of all, I've gotten a little bit tired of the political discourse. Ever since the election, all that we've heard in the entire country, and inexplicably a bunch of other countries that didn't have anything to do with the United States of America, is Trumpy, Trumpy, Trump, Trump, Trump. Everything's about Trump. And I'm really kind of tired of it. I'm tired of dealing with political correctness, but I'm also tired of having to say stuff against them. There are already so many other people that do it, and do it quite well. Good on them. I don't feel like I can really add much to what they already say. I do have some things I'd like to discuss, but they're not directly related to the modern political climate, toxic as it is. However, I'm not here today to talk about that. I'm here to let you know about my Twitter drama. So you might go to my Twitter account and go, where is it? Ah, where'd he go? I don't know. So you can't find my Twitter account. Well, let me tell you why you can't find my Twitter account. I deactivated it because Twitter got mad that I was posting pictures of salty people and salt jokes. And I was posting them in reply to a lot of people, to that dumb meme that feminists came up with saying, Oh yeah, I'm a snowflake and guess what? Winter is coming. Um, because they're, they're, they're clever. They're clever. With, that was so clever, you know, taking a thing from, uh, yeah, Game of Thrones and applying it when winter is more than halfway over. So Twitter thought that it was a good idea to do a shadow ban on me. Now, for those of you who don't know, a shadow ban is where a website, instead of banning someone outright, you know, suspending their account or whatever, they hide what those people say. So that the people think that they're talking, but that everyone's just ignoring them. It's a pretty sinister thing. They required that I authenticate a phone number to Twitter because they thought I might be a bot. Well, I did that, and that's when I discovered that I had been shadow banned on Twitter. What's really sinister about a Twitter shadow ban, however, is based on my testing, someone who paid attention to me pretty heavily was able to communicate with me and see what I was posting. But everyone else couldn't. I knew this because all you have to do to find out if you've been shadow banned somewhere is open a private window in your browser, go to the website, if necessary log in under another name, you don't have to do that on Twitter because Twitter stuff is all public unless you lock everything, and then go look at the place where you made a comment in response. What's interesting is it'll show a number of replies, and if you click on that post you'll find less replies than the number. This one had three replies, but when I clicked on the post to see the replies, there were only two main replies shown and their comment trees below. One of the replies that should have been there was mine. So I've been shadow banned. Rather than continuing to post into the ether, I decided to deactivate the account. Now, after 30 days, I can start it back up, but I don't know that I want to do that. I don't know that it's worth it. Twitter has a serious problem with enforcing this agenda that many people call liberal, but let's be honest, what's called liberal is anything but liberal. Also, what's called conservative tends to not be very conservative either. The reality is they're both authoritarian, and that's the true problem. Everyone is yelling at each other, trying to tell each other what to do. What really needs to happen is you need to accept the fact that I can say whatever I want, I need to accept the fact that you can say whatever you want, and we need to discuss things like civil adults. That's not the way things are working anymore. That's how Trump got elected. When people say that social justice warriors got Trump elected, this is why. Because their method of debate is to dismiss, shame, redirect, or otherwise do anything that does not require actually addressing the argument that was made. And people are tired of that. People are tired of being told they're bad. People are tired of being abused. Let's just be frank, it's pretty abusive. You know, since, since abuse is a thing that we can throw around so lightly these days, it's pretty abusive to dismiss people and to pretend like their logical arguments don't actually matter in a logical, civil discussion. But this has carried on for far longer than I already wanted it to. 
I thought you would like to know why it is that I'm not on Twitter anymore and why I don't really post many videos anymore. However, I would like to announce that you're in luck. If you've gotten this far, the next video I post will be about Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and why their freedom should be restricted. Now, you might think a guy like me, who's a pretty hardcore libertarian, shouldn't be going, oh, the freedoms shouldn't be restricted of these private businesses to conduct their private business in the way that they see fit, because they're not the government. But I'm about to shove a giant nail up the ass of that argument. Watch out for the next video, bitches. This is Feminazi, signing off and stabbing a bird in the ass. Fuck you, Twitter.